In previously, uh, we studied for the concept of density of state, and the uh, density of state near the Fermi level is like the three half n over epsilon f. Then, uh, from this time, we will calculate the electron specific heat uh, in terms of Zomopel Fermi uh, Zomopel Fermi gas model, and uh, basically the energy can be calculate the energy integration, energy integration and the density of states, and so epsilon energy and the Fermi distribution function from the minus negative and to uh, ne uh, negative infinity to the infinity. It is a definition of the energy, uh, is calculation of energy. And so carrier concentration can be calculated from the uh, negative infinity to the infinity energy integration with the density of state and the Fermi direct distribution function. And it also should, um, we should understand the, this one. And uh, basically at finite temperature, at finite temperature, we always consider for Fermi direct distribution function, it, it is not a, a real physical quantity, but it is a probability of electron occupation. And also here, density of state is a degenerate, energy degenerated state. And therefore, when the degenerate state should be considered, and also here it is a degenerated state, number of states and it is a popular it is a population or the distribution and that population distribution anyway a probability probability of occupation Therefore, we always calculate the density of state and the Fermi direct distribution function when you calculate the physical quantities at finite temperature. Uh, before calculating the electronic specific heat, uh, we need a uh, mathematical uh, foundation. And uh, here, uh, the calculation of the electronic specific heat, we need the Zomopelti expan expansion. And here, I will introduce the Zomopelti expansion. Here, let's consider for the disintegration. Uh, not G, it is a Fermi direct distribution function. And here, the H is the any function, and uh, in here, the, uh, the H cor correspond to the energy, and uh, in N, uh, H function is one. But H function can be any uh, anything, and uh, here the F is that Fermi direct distribution function, and the uh, exponential epsilon minus mu over k with t plus one like this, and uh, uh, the assume that this H function goes to zero as the energy goes to the minus negative because and uh, en for for high energy uh, if not if the this h function is diverges with the finite temperature a uh, finite value then the disintegration becomes diverges and therefore the uh, this uh, this h function should be diminished at high energy region then uh, let's let's consider that the uh, k function is that uh, from minus negative to epsilon in the h epsilon prime d epsilon prime then we can think that this h function can may have the dk epsilon d epsilon <coughs> now, therefore and uh, here we should calculate minus negative uh, minus infinity to infinity d epsilon h epsilon 
f epsilon then it is identical from the <coughs> dk epsilon over d epsilon f epsilon from the integration by parts and uh, it is k epsilon and f epsilon from minus in infinity to infinity <coughs> minus integral minus infinity to infinity d epsilon k epsilon d f epsilon d epsilon <coughs> because uh, here we assume that this k function k function related to the h function and h function diminishes at uh, infinite energy therefore it becomes zero <coughs> and therefore we should calculate uh, this term and uh, how to calculate this one and we, we uh, let's apply the Taylor series let's apply the Taylor series near chemical potential and the uh, k epsilon can be ex expanded k mu plus in general summation from n equal 1 to infinity epsilon minus mu to the n divide n, n factorial dn k epsilon over d epsilon n near the epsilon equal to mu then let's say that the v, uh, let's denote it as a star then it can, uh, integral star can be expanded like this and minus infinity to infinity d epsilon df d epsilon k is the k mu plus summation n equal from 1 to infinity epsilon minus mu to the n and factorial and uh, dn k d epsilon n and uh, epsilon equal to mu uh, because of the Fermi function Fermi function is that uh, like this and uh, uh, it is a uh, chemical potential at zero temperature and uh, also at finite temperature and uh, here uh, chemical potential at finite temperature below uh, if the f equal to zero below the chemical potential energy higher than the chemical potential and uh, it is one and the uh, chemical uh, energy is lower than the chemical potential and the uh, energy is lower than chemical potential it is one energy higher than chemical potential it is zero and also and uh, this this because it is a delta function delta function and the uh, derivative of Fermi function with respect to the energy is like a delta function and the integration from the minus infinity to infinity d epsilon minus df d epsilon equal to 1 from the definition of the, it is a, a direct delta function Uh, it is a whole energy range in integration of the direct delta function is 1 and uh, therefore <coughs> then uh, let's calculate let's say that it is uh, integration A and uh, integration A is that uh, from minus infinity to mu 
because energy higher than epsilon, uh, chemical potential is zero. Therefore, the uh, energy level, energy level is the uh, is that uh, chemical potential, the a, uh, h epsilon the epsilon. Then in <coughs> yeah plus summation from one to infinity from minus negative to negative the epsilon and anyway <coughs> and uh, it is uh, uh, because this df df the epsilon is an even function even function of epsilon minus mu and and therefore, and uh, here only uh, even functional even term survives. Uh, therefore, from the Taylor expansion, epsilon minus mu to the two n over two n factorial, because of the even functional derivative, and also here minus df d epsilon and d. 2n minus 1 over the epsilon 2n minus 1 h epsilon at the chemical potential is very uh, long calculation and it is a Jomofeld expansion and here let the uh, Epsilon minus mu over kBT replaced by x. And also let a n minus infinity to infinity x to 2n over 2n factorial minus d dx 1 over exponential x plus 1 dx because uh, it is a f function it is a fermi direct distribution function like this and the d epsilon dx identical and uh, here like this then this integration from minus infinity to infinity d epsilon h epsilon f epsilon can be right down from the minus infinity to mu h epsilon d epsilon plus summation from n to the 1 to infinity it is first one this one is a n is a a n or so here yeah, kvt kvt to the 2n and d to the 2n minus 1 d epsilon 2n minus 1 h epsilon at the Fermi level <coughs> yeah this uh, Jomopart expansion is very difficult expansion uh, that's why you do not first rate uh, because it is very difficult expansion and uh, Dromopelt may found very deliberate or concentrating work and also it is not directly uh, calculated but he also studied very very much and anyway and but uh, this kind of integration very if uh, very useful that's why I introduce but uh, anyway then the, do not do not frustrate yourself yeah here a n then the from uh, from there then the a n can be expanded like the 1 minus or the 2 to 2 n 
plus 1 over 3 to 2n minus 1 to 4 to 2n plus and so on and uh, it can be briefly write down as a 2 minus 1 over 2 2n minus 1 and it is we call it is zeta function here it is a it is a, a Riemann zeta function 1 plus 2n 2 to the n plus 3 to the n plus 4 to the n like this it is a Riemann zeta function and also Riemann zeta function of 2 is that uh, pi square of 6 the Riemann zeta function of 4 is that pi to the 4 divided by 90 therefore when you summarize it can be write down minus negati uh, negative negative infinity to infinity d epsilon h epsilon f epsilon is that uh, minus infinity to mu h epsilon d epsilon plus pi square over 6 kbt square h prime mu and plus 7 pi to the 4 360 kbt to the 4 h 3 prime mu or and so on, high order term. And uh, we call it is a zomopath expansion. And uh, it is a very, very long journey how to calculate the uh, um, how to calculate in, in principle. We, sh we use this uh, zomopath expansion frequently in calculating thermodynamic quantities, but uh, I do not suggest that you remember all the things from the Jomopelt expansion, but uh, you can only adopt the result. And the uh, Jomopelt expansion, ah, Jomopelt expansion can be written like this, and uh, <coughs> we can solve the problems. Then anyway, when when I uh, when I give uh, problems in, for example, in examination, and uh, I will uh, I will supply the Jomopelt expansion formula. Do not worry about. You do not remember this Jomopelt expansion. I also do not remember for from higher than, from third order term. I only remember only two uh, second order term. But uh, anyway, do not uh, 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 do not afraid. Uh, it is uh, it will be. I will I will give you the Jomopelt expansion formula when you calculating the problems.